It's called ramen, a simple bowl of noodles that's cheap and quick. In Japan, they inhale it, vacuum cleaner style. But when it comes to maniac obsession, nothing comes close to this tongue-scorching dish. <laughs> There's a bottomless appetite for ramen TV shows. And ramen festivals, where chefs face off with their latest concoctions, judged by ramen pundits. This ramen expert says the Japanese adapted ramen from China, the way they adapted and improved cell phones and computers. And with competition steaming among ramen makers, they're still adapting. Innovations like this two-time champ, black soup ramen. Ramen is for every day, the chef says. It's the ultimate people's food. Japan's noodle fixation was immortalized in the 1985 movie Tampoco, the story of a woman's quest to make the perfect bowl of ramen. <laughs> Japan even has a ramen theme park with movie stage sets which evoked the dawn of noodle mania half a century ago. It features nine different varieties of ramen from around the country. And now, Americans are discovering Japan's guilty pleasure. Ramen is the national dish of Japan, as popular here as hamburgers are in America. But this is not just any fast food, it's a feast for the senses. It starts with inhaling the aroma and then savoring the flavor notes of the soup before tucking into the noodles with gusto. While complex soups and secret recipes are the mark of a skilled chef, noodles tend to be a factory-made afterthought. But not for New York native Ivan Orkin. A former French chef, Orkin traded in his foie gras a few years ago to become Japan's first and only American maestro of ramen. It's like eating ribs. There's no way to eat ribs without a smile on your face. And ramen is the same thing. It's messy, it's gooey, it's sticky, it's full of, you know, illicit flavor. Now with two Tokyo eateries under his belt, Orkin has become a ramen superstar. For his eclectic noodles, made with exotic ingredients like soy milk and roasted tomatoes, nothing less than the gourmet treatment will do. In a good bowl of ramen, I, I guess I like to say that you don't know where the beginning is and where the end is. It just all seems to flow together in a perfect harmony. So this is comfort food, Japanese style, where it's rude to eat politely and good manners to have fun.